Hello, welcome back to BS Life. So in this uh, episode, I'm gonna further uh, explore this uh, USDZ file format, especially for augmented reality for iPhone on iOS 12. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So basically, we need to start with some kind of uh, 3D files, 3D contents, and I will be using Blender 2.79. I'm not using Blender 2.8 yet because it's still in alpha. So 2.79 is already pretty solid. And I will be just using Suzanne the monkey head as an example. And it's gonna be really, really simple. And I will generate the UV. We need a 3D objects with UV in order for this to work. And you can see the grid here. Uh, we're gonna bring the head a little bit up. Uh, it's gonna be floating for now, uh, but it's okay. We gonna we can fix that later. Uh, with any kind of a USDZ, especially for AR for iOS um, device like iPhone or an iPad, it's better to have the object actually uh, placed on the ground, just like a real object. But for now, it's uh it's fine. So, Suzanne, USDZ. I'm gonna save this blend. So we're gonna have one Susan head and we're gonna give it a material. This is like the most basic uh, you can do. You just provide a 3D objects with a material and the material is gonna be the diffuse. And I have a couple of Susan um, head um, texture, the usual one. And I will give a light for now. So this is gonna be low poly. Don't worry about the light. I think it's not gonna be used for the USDZ. Um, you can read a bit more about the USDZ here. And currently there is no export add-on for Blender yet because Blender is using Python 3 again. I'm hoping Apple will have like add-on for Blender to do exactly that for USD file format. But we're gonna have a look how uh, when we create this USDZ file format, we can get the USDA which is like USD ASCII file format that we can observe. So yeah, this time I will be using multiple Susan head. Actually, I will have this one and then duplicate it and duplicate it again. So I will have three Susan head. And remember what I said uh, before, be careful with the naming. It doesn't like dot zero zero two. It doesn't like that kind of naming system. So better name it is Susan A, Susan B, and Susan C. Uh, the same thing with this mesh. Also be careful with the naming. This is Susan B, this is Susan C. And the material. The material also is very, very important. At the moment we are using Material 001, I'm just gonna call it Material A. Okay, I think we are good. I'm gonna select all this uh, head and file, export as OBJ. So we will be using OBJ for now and we can see the result. So Susan USDZ, I'm gonna save it just uh, Susan or just call it 3 monkey like that export obj it's going to be saved on the desktop and let's jump into terminal so we'll still be needing to use terminal for now because just the way it is i'm gonna show it to you how it works i'm gonna jump into desktop and i already have xcode 10 already installed so i can do this uh, xc run USD Z converter. I can run it. And there's like this bunch of options that you can use, but they're not working properly yet, I don't think. Um, so I'm not gonna be using this to do the file path, etc. What I will do is just uh, convert this uh, three monkey obj to 3 monkeyusdz but with a verbose 
enable USDA and do not remove the USDA. And there you go. It's a. Uh, it says it's done. Um, there. Yeah, it's, we should be getting um, the file over here. So you can see there's a USDZ file with a three monkey. So it's everything is good. We get all the texture, but we also get the this uh, USDA file format. This is the OBJ. The USDA is the one that's interesting. Let's jump into it. So let's have a look. This is the USDA file format, and I will be uh, giving this uh, a syntax. Maybe just use C or C sharp. Maybe C. Okay, we have a bit of color there. So this is the option for the up axis and the animations. We don't have animation, but we're gonna play around with animation later. But look at look at this um, material and etc for that's uh, being generated by this uh, USDZ converter this is actually really interesting you can see how it's uh, it's referencing Susan A B C so that's how they are kind of group and it's getting the file from this single file but we can easily change this we can have like three monkey which is like a made of different monkey like maybe there they can be even like a torus etc but uh, it's re it's it can goes inside the obj and then it gets the the object name susan a b c right so that's interesting and this usda file also provides some kind of description for the material stingray pbs for physically based shader so there's a PBS Stingray PBS 0, Stingray, Stingray PBS 1, and Stingray PBS 2. That's expected. That's actually automatically generated. It shouldn't be called Stingray, but that's uh, I think that's what Pixar is using. And then there's also this kind of sh uh, material shader and how it's connect to the color map. The color map is only currently referencing Susan Texture A, of course. And it doesn't have anything else. Let's see what happens if I actually change this. So I have, I already have this uh, one, two, three, three different texture. Okay, red, green, and yellow. Three different texture, but I haven't assigned it here in Blender. This is the original Blender file. But uh, the cool thing about uh, USDA is that we can just change it here. So this is a uh, because this is ASCII and we can just go down inside it, change change the file path directly in here. So A, B, and C. Making sure every uh, name is correct and the path should be correct. There shouldn't, shouldn't be any kind of typo. So we can now go back to USDZ converter and just use the USDA instead of the OBJ. So we are no longer targeting the original we are not converting from the original we are just going to be re reading the usda the description and then now we updated the three monkey look at the US usdz now we have the monkey with three different texture okay that's really cool and this usdz if i if i'm testing it out now using reflector app and i will jump into my iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and I will do the screen mirroring. Hopefully, this works. Okay, 7 Plus, and I will be sending this uh, USDZ and drop it into my iPhone. 7 plus so it's gonna work on 7 plus I think it works on 6s but not 6 I'm not sure yet but uh, we're gonna we're gonna test this anyway save it into my iPhone drop it into my USDZ folder add 
So we get the three monkey, oops. So we get a three monkey here. You see how the head has a bit of automatic shadowing. And we can turn it into AR. See, just three monkey head kind of sticking to my keyboard. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Pretty easy and fun to do. Um, what else can we do next? Let's go back to this guy. So the original blend is still like that. We can make Susan head maybe a little bit high res. I'm gonna smooth it. Um, I can save it as a different Suzanne. Actually, um, I'm kind of curious. Maybe we can play around with it. So one of Suzanne can be maybe really low res. I will just decimate it. So this guy like super low res Suzanne and triangulate it. And this guy, I can try voxelizing it. Remesh. Oh, this voxel doesn't have a proper UV, but I guess uh, we can try this anyway. So save it. One, two, three. File, export, OBJ, and save this three monkey as three monkey X. So this is a different different OBJ files. Now we're gonna jump into our USDA once again so let's make changes here so instead of 3monkey original we're gonna change it to 3monkey X the group the OBJ group is still the same and then just convert once again hopefully everything works and we get a new USDZ now we have aha uh -huh. so we have one that's kind of not working but we have Suzanne with a high res. This one also decimated. But this the voxel one doesn't work. Alright. So we cannot use this. Maybe we can do something different. Wireframe, maybe. Yeah, wireframe is cool. Save it. One, two, three. File, export, OBJ, selection only. Apply modifier. Yes. Save it as 3monkey x. Do the convert once again. So we are still reading the same USDA. We are just changing the, the path into the OBJ. And this is cool, right? We get the result. And I can just airdrop it into my iPhone once again. Hopefully this works. File. ICloud Drive, USDG, USDZ add. So we have this. I forgot to mirror. So we have this guy working. So we can see our objects in 3D. We can turn it into AR. So once again, uh, we got this working. So that's nice. And yeah, so that's the idea basically. The USDA file format itself is useful for uh, kind of composing the 3D assets together. Um, this is still something that I'm studying. Uh, the actual USD and we, we need, basically we need two things. We need to install USD tools um, using Python 2.7 and also we need an add-on for Blender which Pixar doesn't provide yet um maybe you need to build yourself that's a bit hard there's a plugin for maya and katana and houdini we don't have it for blender yet maybe i need to use houdini because i don't use maya for a while but the usda file format is really cool because we can do all this and even better if uh, if i really want to do it so with the color map so far we are only using the color map but we can also use the this uh, normal map, rafters map, metallic map. So this is from another file that I'm working on. It's uh, the love sculpture. But I can just copy and paste the the nodes or the shader nodes 
and just this will be referencing uh, some texture on my desktop and if I updated this guy supposedly the three monkey USDZ is being updated once again and now this uh, this guy should be reflective this guy now have uh, some kind of diffuse and reflectivity unless I'm doing it wrong but uh, I think it's I'm doing it right save this so this guy is referencing some texture here on my desktop so there's a plastic and so this bit of scratches let's do this one more time converted there is no error yes DZ. this one should have reflection on this the first monkey or the last or maybe this guy oh, okay this guy has all the reflection huh. okay cool maybe I should do it for all of them so see this is the color map just paste the other normal map roughness map and metalness they're gonna be referencing a bunch of file and then simply by updating this this guy now should have some kind of reflection there you go you can see now there's some specularity and yeah this the middle Suzanne can be better I, I shouldn't just give it a wireframe oops this guy should be not decimate I'll be giving a edge split or bevel bevel okay bevel is cool and we have the sharp edge save it one two three file export obj save go back to our usd converter convert it one more time i'm gonna jump into reflector app once again and do the reflect uh do the mirroring and this guy now should have some reflections file airdrop it so this is going to be my workflow for the future i really like to embrace this uh, ar stuff and i think this is a good start i cloud usdz so we can be using blender for all of this so sometimes it's a it doesn't quite work ar okay cool it works i need some kind of uh, reference floor move the iphone and then it drops and you can see now our monkey this one have a little bit more realism right it's a bit better and yeah so there's that's pretty much it basically yeah hopefully you find this useful uh you like this demo oh okay we can do it in landscape this is actually much better <laughs> With the iPhone 10, of course, uh, you got the the front through through the front camera, or some people call it the notch. But with the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 7, this will work fine. All right. Hopefully, you find this interesting. Once again, um, let me know what you think. If you have any question, any suggestion, let me know, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.